following presentation of the Daily Mass is made possible by your generous donations to Catholic Television of San Antonio. The Archdiocese of San Antonio and CTSA invite you to join us in celebrating these sacred mysteries, listening to God's Word, and partaking of spiritual communion. Welcome to the Daily Mass. We are gathered this, today, this day in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And again, we realize we're in red, and we're celebrating St. Thomas the Apostle. And we're also celebrating, for those watching this in the United States, the 4th of July, or Independence Day. And look, I almost get, I get red, white, and I'm still wearing my Steubenville bracelet, because I'm going to pray for them for a while, and blue. So we're all ready for the 4th of July. So liturgically incorrect, but it sort of works. As we come together, more importantly, for the feast of Thomas the Apostle, people come to me and confess, Father, I doubted. I don't know how you get through a day without doubting at some point, but that doubt brings about more questions and brings about more understanding. So that's why we hold him up as an important part of what our faith is. So as we come together today, trusting in God's mercy and in God's love. We ask forgiveness for our sins so that we can enter the celebration with all of our bodies, souls, and beings. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the brokenhearted. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to show us the way to your Father's house. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Oh. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may glory in the feast of the blessed Apostle Thomas, so that we may always be sustained by his intercession, and believing may have life in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who Thomas acknowledged as the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. 
Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness for us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. You have believed in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, we have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I love this Gospel. I got ahead of myself. That's why I had to pause and remember, what's the last thing I just said so I could continue because that whole sense, and what always dawns on me is Thomas being steadfast. You know, it wasn't just like a bunch of strangers coming up and saying, hey, we have a magic trick for you, but people that he had spent the last three years with, that he knew, and he was so sure that he needed more to believe. And to me, that's the key. He had to have some part of him that had thought, these guys wouldn't be doing this to me. They wouldn't be saying this if there wasn't some truth in that. But he, as he was looking at it, he, was, he had that doubt. He saw what they did to his friend Jesus. They saw the gruesome death. And to just accentuate that, he says, I have to touch those holes in his hands and in his side. And then Jesus came and doesn't do like, if I were Jesus, I would have come back and all right, knucklehead, I'm back. But Jesus doesn't do that. What does he say? The very next words that they hear from Jesus is, Peace be with you. Now, my next question is like, dude, how are you getting through this place without the, with the doors all locked? I mean, what is that like? I'd be asking all those questions. But they're all there. Peace be with you. And all of a sudden, and he makes Thomas go through and do. Thomas is believing, but he says, I don't want you to have reasons for this doubt again. And then touch my hands and my side. 
I just think that just to me is weird anyway. I don't know that I'd want to. That would just be weird putting your hand inside somebody. But the whole sense of that belief that came, that doesn't mean Thomas didn't have later doubts. I mean, because his life did not end well, as we can see by the color red. But as things get difficult, we are going to doubt. And it's not going to be a major doubt. It's not going to be something that's going to, you know, say, oh, I don't believe anymore because we have all the other stuff that keeps us believing. But doubts in these little parts and places should be drawing us deeper into our faith. When people tell me they just can't believe what happens on the altar, they, don't, they can't see heaven and earth coming together, why wouldn't the world be a better place? I think, well, that's, you have to then work to pray to understand that. And it's not hard to conquer unbelief. What did Jesus say? I need, Thomas said, I need this to believe. Jesus came and gave that to him. My simple prayer, when I struggle with different things, and when I was having some significant issues in my life, my spiritual director said, Lord, this is your simple prayer. Just simply, Lord, help my unbelief. And then as we pray that, Lord, help my unbelief, God will give us what we need. And sometimes if we need a more specific sign, we can give that. Last weekend when I was in Dallas, this kid came and said, you know, I really think I'm supposed to be a priest. But, you know, I keep asking for signs, and well, I get sort of the right thing, but it could just be a coincidence. I had to tell the poor kid I did that about 3,000 times before I finally had to say, all right, God, I'm going to give this a try. We have that tendency to pull away. But if you need something more specific, ask God. And realize it will come as God needs it to come to get us to go in the right direction. And as we do that, I want us all as we celebrate this feast and we look at our country and the state that it's in to realize this is our mission. Jesus left us this church. Jesus left us to grow this church and to build this church. And we need to be those people of faith. That even though we might have doubts, we're going to work those through and use those doubts so that we can be more bold, that we can be more alive, and we can help this world to realize not just the gift of this country, but the gift of being able to have this church and to grow it freely and to be able to come together peaceably to celebrate. If people really understood a fraction of what the church had, we would be full. And it isn't about what happens in this building. It isn't about what happens in D.C. or in Rome or anything else. It's what happens on this table behind me. That is what the gift is. Sorry, bishops and everybody else, but you agree with me. It's what happens here, that heaven and earth coming together, us placing our lives in that altar and taking it back, whether we can do that in person or spiritually, that gift of wholeness that God gives us. And so with that, as we celebrate this feast, let us use our doubts to grow more deeply into our faith. And as we do that, give other people permission to doubt, but to doubt not to draw them away, but to draw them into this mystery of faith that we all live day in and day out. We hope and trust in our heart, with hope and trust in our hearts, let us bring our prayers and needs before the Lord. That the Lord may continue to graciously bless and watch over his holy church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may work through our leaders to bring about and preserve peace among all nations, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Christians who suffer persecution for their fidelity to Christ and his church may be fortified by God in their faithfulness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may inspire men and women to choose to follow Christ through vocations to the ordained and consecrated life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ's presence among us may give us hope when we are hopeless and strength when we falter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that all who have died may encounter the risen Christ and come to the fullness of life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grand heavens, as you hear these prayers and grant them, help us to use our doubts and to use our human nature to delve more deeply and to know more clearly your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Food of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Food of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. We render you, O Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep us safe, to keep safe your gifts in us, as we honor the confession of the Apostle St. Thomas and offer you a sacrifice of praise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many, 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving his holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, St. Thomas, and with all the saints on his constant intercession. In your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, with Gustavo, our Archbishop, Gary and Mike, his auxiliaries, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now can dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us now offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe all that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already here, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who we truly receive in this sacrament, as we truly receive in this sacrament, the body of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that we may recognize him with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deeds and by our life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So have a great 4th of July weekend. Please, please, please be safe. Return to us. We don't need bad things to happen. We've had enough of those over the last year. But truly go out and enjoy. And remember, in all the beauty, the great sunsets, fireworks, whatever you see, please remember to look up and to remember the majesty of God as you do that. To our sponsors, again, thank you. And we're coming close to the end of the um, immigration thing. The um, Angels Unaware at Catholic Life, one of our sponsors for this show. Please go take the 4th of July. That would be a great thing to go visit. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Proclaiming the good news with your lives. Please help this very important ministry by making a contribution to help the televised Mass to continue by sending a donation to Catholic Television of San Antonio, 2718 West Woodlawn, San Antonio, Texas, 78228, or contribute online at ctsa.tv.